Are you ready for the madness that is going to be in here? I don't think I'm ready at all. <laughs> Follow us as we document our adventures around the world. We hope it will inform, inspire and entertain. It's a very grey morning. We touched down in Chennai in the early hours of Tuesday morning and spent our first few days in India exploring, organising and just generally eating everything in sight. I have no idea if we're on the right train, if we're going the right way. No plans past where we were staying for the first night. We had some research to do and decided to head south down the coast. Traffic that way. Go, 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 go. It is total madness. It's a full-on attack of the senses. <laughs> you walk past a stall and you get the smell of some some amazing food. And you breathe deeper and then you, you suddenly just get this waft of Shit. <laughs> and, then, Literally. and then you get almost yeah. run over by a bike. <laughs> this is just it's like a back street, it's not even a main road. Yeah. We've relented and bought an umbrella. It's only one. Best. 200 rupees on this land, it's four dollars. You can't That's really, a lot. You can't really say off. that we just spent 30 cents on breakfast. Four dollars would have got us a long way. Ta -da! So, a few days ago, we met this girl in um, somewhere. She had one of these, a live straw bottle, and it basically has a filter on it so you can just fill up the tap water and drink straight from the bottle. Or you can go to a river or a stream or anything, I think. Anything but the ocean and it makes it drinkable. Which means no more plastic bottles, amazing, and no more paying for water, also amazing. Win win. Yeah, we're not sponsored by Life Short to say this, um, but if you do want to sponsor us, then uh, yeah, hit us up. I thought a lot of was trying to get down the road because of the rain, all the puddles are so big. Two days in India, my shoes are already ruined. So I guess we're going to my buddy for it. Yeah, we're thinking about going to Mahabalipuram, which is about three, four hours south of here on the coast. Train the bus to train? Train in the bus, I think, to get there. Early night, because up early tomorrow, get the train, get the bus, arrive there, find something to stay, go exploring. Guy was taking ages and uh, I 
I sprinted, but I didn't make it. We missed our train. So we can get another train. We were flashing around the camera. We just like saw out getting on the train. Come on then. We're just waiting for the bus. This is the bus. It's not even a bus stop. It's just a, just the side of the road. Someone's picked a point and said, "This is where the bus is going to stop." Bus comes at eight minutes to two, so we're just still here waiting on the side of the street. Someone told us this is where the bus goes from, so I can pour my faith in them. <laughs> still waiting. Get what does she say? Get the one zero nine bus instead of the one we're trying to get, and it will take us to me. What time is it, Josh? Five past eleven. So we've been waiting for like half an hour. Yeah. Just to think, all this time, I could have just gone and got some fried rice. So we just passed the bus that we wanted to get. We're hoping if we stay ahead of it, maybe we can get onto that one if it's still hanging. time to kill so um, we're gonna enjoy it our journey had taken us over four hours we'd taken a train a bus and what i will call a small van that is apparently actually a private bus <laughs> After our long and exhausting initiation into india's public transport system we headed out to explore that's so good <laughs> Mahabalipuram is one of the oldest cities in India and sits on the east coast between the Bay of Bengal and the Great Salt Lake. Most of the temples here were built back in the 7th and 8th century, making it a busy Indian tourist destination. What's going on, Aaron? Where are we? I'm not really sure what a butter ball is. A ball of butter, but never in my life have I ever ball of butter before. That is quite impressive. Just a huge rock that is balanced on a hill. Wait, kind of I'm gonna go back a bit and you're gonna put your hand up and it's gonna look like you're holding it up higher, up higher. Yeah, there you go, down a little bit, tiny. Yeah, there you go, holding the bubble. Lovely, jubbly. We need to go find a place that does laundry. Our laundry situation is critical. Code red. That sounds weird. But it is. We've done one load of laundry since we left Sydney. We stank in people. Five weeks ago. <laughs> and now we're in your clothes. That is a very strong look that you have going on. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, big spender little makeshift table. How is it? Good. I'm gonna 
Exactly, so fun. Everything we're eating is incredible. This is Josh's eighth samosa today. I'd just open it up and pour that in. All we've done today is eat. This is the best food. Basic cheese. So delicious. So gorgeous. This is India life. It's just everything you imagine is so much more. We had a very slow morning, didn't we? Yeah. Now, we have a very important mission. We have to find somewhere that is showing the Rugby World Cup tomorrow. I don't know if there's going to be anywhere showing it. Nah. -uh. Hey, how are you look? God. Can you look? Okay. No, but found somewhere that does show it. Maybe. Let's go. I see satellite dishes. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, beer is good. Hooray! Success! Still not 100% uh, convinced. Yeah, he didn't actually have a TV. He has told us he could arrange one. So we'll see. Worst case scenario, we can sit in the bar, we can get it on our phones. I'd rather watch it on my phone than not watch it at all. Rugby World Cup 29, England v South Africa. Under through to domination. Oh my! South Africa, the World Cup! Just waiting for our ride. There you go, four Japanese. Oh. It's a very, very disappointing defeat. So Erin doesn't feel well. What's up? I feel very weak. I think the lack of vegetables and just the generally very poor diet. Well, we've eaten vegetables, just very cooked. overly cooked, non nutritious vegetables. We started taking some vitamins today, so. I think the England loss has taken it out of us. We, we yeah. do want to get to Poncho really right now. The sun's going down and we're still a good two and a half hours from Pondicherry. We're going on to, to Pondicherry and paying what we think is over the odds. It's twice what we thought. Yeah, our most expensive day of accommodation the whole trip. We've gone from our cheapest to our most expensive. Yeah, 500 rupees each, which is $10 Australian each. Almost half our budget for a day. $10 um, a night. Are yeah, yeah, we're doubling but that easily. Evening, just Saturday night. Tomorrow night is much cheaper, and then Monday night is have to take a hit. This big boy with me, where I go. 22 kilograms of pure fucking shit. Fashion. 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 Feeling pretty good for myself. Yeah. I think it's the fashion that's going on. You've got so much energy right now. Beer has given me the energy. I feel like we've spent just spend our lives waiting for buses, for trains, for people, for everything right now. We're waiting for our blah blah car basically. So it's like hitchhiking a lift to Pondicherry. But it's really late. Hopefully it'll be here soon. Ah, finally. Hi, Hannes, how are you? good let's go we're in the car on the way to Pondicherry say hello guys perfect I'm very kindly driving us to Pondicherry so we just got out of the car got to the hospital and apparently there's no room and they tried to call us but now apparently there is room very confusing. The guys who gave us a lift were the loveliest people. They sorted everything out. I don't think I've got the energy for these stairs. I am so ready for bed. I'm knackered. Thanks for watching, guys. Join us next week when things take a slight turn for the worse for me, health wise, and we change up our plans to travel over to the west coast. See you then.